the 1960s and 70s, the world of Japanese photography was undergoing many revolutionary changes. One photographer whose work truly embodies these changes is Aiko Hosoe. Hosoe was born in 1933 in the Yamagata Prefecture of Japan, northwest of Tokyo. He grew up during the war in an environment of destruction, and once the war ended in 1945, people were eager to create art again. In 1960, Hosoe banded together with five other photographers to create a collaborative named Vivo, which was aimed at promoting unique artistic photography. Vivo only lasted from 1959 to 1961, but during this time, Hosoe came out with the first exhibition that got him attention in the art world, Man and Woman. The exhibition was held in Tokyo and gained attention for its blunt approach to sexuality. In 1963, Hosoe produced his most famous series of images entitled Barakai, or Ordeal by Roses. The subject here is famous Japanese author Mishima Yukio, depicted in a series of Baroque, dramatic, high contrast images. Mishima hired Hosoe to take publicity portraits for the author, and Hosoe used Mishima's garden as the setting for his images, often bringing in garden tools as props for his photos. The photo book that resulted from Ordeal by Roses is one full of darkness, mystery, and promiscuity. In 1969, Aiko Hosoe produced Kamae Tachi. In this project, Hosoe uses the body of Buto dancer Hijikata Tatsumi to recreate the tale of an evil spirit called Kamaitachi. As a young boy, Hosoe had been told the tale of Kamaitachi, which was said to travel around terrorizing Japanese villages. Hosoe's work throughout the 1960s and 70s provides us with a window into the drastic cultural changes that were occurring throughout Japan in this era. By using high contrast images and provocative subjects, Hosoe embodies the countercultural nature of photography in late 20th century Japan.